The Toyota Land Cruiser from Niranjana and Juliet breaks down while I travel south with them through Cameroon. It forces us to camp at a spot. Such unplanned stops bring me even closer to the locals. One of the nice things of traveling the world in this way. After I said goodbye to my two ladies and to all that healthy food and good company, I point the bike towards the equator. Once an old taxi and a truck are on board, we are ready to leave. To start the ferry they try to take the battery out of the taxi. But the technical genius who welded the new battery box into the vehicle did his job so well that this proves impossible. As the truck doesn't have a battery, the ferryman points to the R1, making it clear that he wants mine to start the diesel. With a scornful smile, I make it clear back that I'm not going to let that happen. Suddenly, I find myself on asphalt, with white stripes and laybys. There are even traffic signs and signposts.
A little before Lamborene, I passed the turning for the Schweitzer Hospital. That name sounds familiar, I think, and they in vain in my memory while I turn around. Not long after, I'm standing on the bank of the river where the Albert Schweitzer Hospital is located, and the doctor himself is buried. came here just before the First World War to treat the sick, a young guy tells me as he leads me through the hut in which Schweitzer lived. I admire the medicine chest, still as it was when Schweitzer died in 1965 at the age of 90. In another room hangs a diploma. I read that Norske Stortings Nobel Committee and suddenly remember how I know the name of this good man, whose appearance reminds me of Albert Einstein. Directly after entering the Republic of the Congo, I was facing the poor quality road I was warned of. As this is in 2001 when there are no helmet cameras available, I use my left hand for filming. After riding one pothole after the other, the confidence grows. However, in some tricky sections, I let the camera rest on my tank bag and occasionally hold it jammed with the chin part of my arrival. For those 
who don't feel the urge to see me riding this type of road for the next eight minutes.